digital ad from Democratic congressional candidate Dean Phillips is getting a lot of social media traction. It's Bigfoot looking for Congressman Eric Paulson, who Phillips says is elusive. Is that true? Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. In the Dean Phillips ad, I thought I was good at hiding. The elusive Bigfoot looks for Republican Congressman Eric Paulson. I mean, how can you have tens of thousands of people looking for you all the time and not one of them find you? I started to wonder, did Eric Paulson really exist? I mean, I mean where's the proof? Phillips claims Paulson did not hold a public town hall meeting for seven years. That's true. Paulson does not like town halls, telling SouthwestNewsMedia.com, people turn them into a gotcha moment or a shouting moment. Eric Paulson, we want your ear to Protesters in Paulson's district are pressuring him for more live town hall meetings. He had not held one for almost seven years until May 2018. Growth in the economy, acceleration of revenue. When he held three ticketed events in one day. It's true that Paulson rarely holds uncontrolled public events, but his campaign says he's had 23 telephone town halls over two years in which people can listen in. He's also had six Congress on your corner days, three open office days, and more than 100 one-on-one -on -one constituent meetings. Is Rudy Boschwitz here? <laughs> The Bigfoot ad is a video homage to late Minnesota Democrat Paul Wellstone, who famously went looking for Rudy in 1990, Republican Senator Rudy Boschwitz. Then I tried his office. Is he here? He is not here. Phillips says he's trying to get Paulson to agree to more unrestricted events open to the public. So take it from me, Bigfoot. Eric Paulson really exists. Using humor to make a point. That's reality check. Minnesota's third district race between Paulson and Phillips is considered one of the most competitive contests in the country.